Hi guys, I am Trish with Unique Me through your free healing and empowerment. Let's see what kind of messages Spirit has for us today. This will be for anybody who's on an ascension journey, going through an awakening process, maybe newly awakened. This will help you to know exactly what you need to do for the next few days, what might, uh, what you might expect, things of that sort. So as I am shuffling these cards, just a reminder, if you guys would like to win a full reading giveaway, please like this video as well as putting your name or comment down in the comments as a way of helping me to get seen more, get in the algorithm to be seen more. I, I appreciate any and all of your help doing that guys thank you and then um okay so the first card that we got is push through any insecurities so this tells me that there's going to be some times of fears doubt insecurities feeling as if things uh as if you can't do something is what i'm feeling so uh go through they're saying go through with something follow through with something so there may be something that you're just not wanting to follow through with because you feel like you don't have enough information you feel like your fears and doubts are really holding you back this is just your ego's way of protecting you from something bad happening so 111 it's about trusting uh having patience having faith acting as if until you know you actually feel that way what have you embrace the flow of life this is asking you to go with the flow one two three to be in the flow be still when you don't know what to do to just be still don't put any time and energy into something that you don't have all the answers to if you don't have all the answers remember this is spirit's way of telling you that you're not meant to have all the answers right now divine timing may be at play or what have you there is some good luck that's still on our side. This came out yesterday or the day before in a reading. So a lot of work and dedication that you're putting into either healing things, making things established, whatever it may be. This is saying that that those things are coming to you and they're coming to you fast is what I'm feeling. This is a time of stepping into our personal power. For some of you, this, these fears, doubts, and insecurities have to do with putting your best foot forward and showing yourself uh, to the world. Uh, what am I trying to say? Giving and presenting yourself to those around you of, you know, that true you, who you truly are. Bringing out those talents, those gifts that you have that you may have not shared with anybody yet. Or maybe you shared with people in the past and you got some judgment. So now Spirit's telling you to put more time and energy into doing so. Which cards do I go with, with please? Thank you. What other messages do you have for us, please? In love, romance, finance, ascension messages, messages from spirit or higher, higher self, please. So we got Gawasha, which is also talking about illusions. These illusional type thoughts that are feeding us something that is keeping us held back. So we're supposed to be moving forward. We're supposed to be stepping into our personal power. But there's something that we're insecure about that we're just like, eh, I don't know, I'm not going to do it just because this is making me feel a little bit of doubt and fears and insecurities. But this is asking you to face those doubts, fears and insecurities and move into this, this energy of I've got this. This has been coming up quite a bit too. I've got this. The dark lady is referring to magic. Um, enlightenment. This could also be referring to a time of information coming to you that's going to help you to tap more into that spiritual magic that you have. Now I'm talking about like those gifts of being able to see into other realms. I just did some ocular nerve healing. So go, go check that out. Um, I did also eye healing uh, on the eye chakra as both of those together are going to help you to see into other realms. That is a magical piece of connecting uh, when you're going through this ascension journey. So um, magic happening in so many different ways. Maybe you're connecting with um, angels or fairies, maybe the dragons, maybe um, you're, you're stepping more into develop, developing these uh, telekinesis type things where you're able to move objects or connecting with energies of like fire or air and being able to make them uh, get bigger or move or what have you. There's so much magic that comes along with this ascension journey. And this is what this is referring to. You know, we're stepping more into our personal power and uh, the flow of what our heart desires are and there's magic happening because of it because of the time and dedication that you've been putting in you're starting to see um, the different aspects of magic that comes with this journey so congratulations for those of you who are going through this i'm feeling very empowered with this card so i'm assuming that most of you are probably feeling pretty empowered what other messages do you have for us, please? <laughs> Am I supposed to take all these? They're wanting to, you to feel with your emotions, your heart. What is your heartfelt uh, things telling you at this time? 
because what this is saying is the fears, doubts, and insecurities, the ego is trying to keep you held back from moving forward is trying to protect you from something but what this card is saying is that the more that you feel with your heart with your emotions and uh, with the energy and the way that it's pushing you the more that you're going to step into this truthful knowing that I, I I'm not what these fears doubts and insecurities are telling me that I am but I am somebody who is capable of pushing through those fears doubts and insecurities and becoming a more empowered person okay stepping more into my personal power because of it I do feel like there's some major changes that are going on in most of our lives right now and I feel like most of this is is a, a energy of forward movement but anytime we're moving forward there's always these fears doubts and insecurities that may pop up that we have to face you know we'll have these times of um you know feeling really really on top of the world feeling like we're on top of the game that things are moving along uh just as they should be we may be manifest 606 manifesting things into our life very rapidly and then all of a sudden we have this downtime where we have fears doubts insecurities feeling that we need to trust more than we ever have and not even really understanding how to trust um you know having these times of uh, you know, just not knowing what to do and feeling like those things that you're, you've been working so hard on manifesting aren't coming to you. These are the times when we learn the most that those downtimes, so to speak, are those times when we're transforming into uh, learning how to trust in the process, to be in the process, to be still, to um, uh, get a little bit deeper connected through prayer and intention and meditation, things of that sort. So there is a process through the experience of having those low times. And for some of you, it may be like a cycle of you have a low time for a week and then a week of high time. And or maybe you go throughout the day having low and high times. But everybody's process is different. It's going to depend on what you're actually going through and processing through when that cycle is going to end and begin. But for many of you, you're in this energy of paving a new path for yourself, maybe even paving a new path for others. Maybe you're somebody who has meant 717, meant to help other people to awaken just by being the light in the room, or maybe you have information that you need to share. Either way it goes, they're asking you to be in the flow with what is developing in your life right now. And what I mean by that is, there's some spiritual connections, some development of talents and things of that sort that are starting to really be present in your life, meaning they're kind of up close and personal in the front and they're kind of what's dictating your next moves in life and they're helping you to stay focused on the positive and things of that sort. So there's really this major development. But during this development, there's also a time of, of learning about your life path, um, what kind of life path you have, what your kind of things you may experience so some of you are probably uh, starting to be led towards horoscopes or things like reading books about your birthday and what it means I mean numerology is probably even something that you may be led to at this time but either way it goes they're asking you to tap into those things because there's some things that are going to be revealed to you that's helping you to tap into the magic of the spiritual connection okay singing into other realms clairvoyant clear audient abilities telekinesis telepathy all of those things that go along with the spiritual journey um is what this is referring to astral travel lucid dreaming out-of-body experiences so uh a new way is being paid for you guys that's helping you to step more into your power for some of you you're just newly awakened for others of you uh, and going through an initiation period but for others of you um you know you've been on this awakening journey for quite some time and it's time for you to step in to your power fully step into your power not play around with it not um you know say okay today i can just rest or procrastinate because i know I, as long as i do it it'll still be there no i feel like there's some time that people are wasting uh not putting time and energy into things because of the fears doubts and insecurities so please push through those in any way shape or form that you feel led to do so which cards do i go to tell me to go back to the star seed card so let's see what else they have to offer us today so the lifting of a veil, there's a lot of things that are being removed out of your life. For some of you, this is just like a negative weighing down type of energy. And this could be an energy that's weighing you down because of a relationship, because of a career, because of not following your divine life purpose or your divine life path and stepping into your role. 
whatever that may be. Um, so there's some weights that are holding you down. For some of you, these are just blockages in your chakras that need to be removed or released. So maybe you're even feeling led to connect with like videos that are guided meditations or healings for chakras. I have several of them on my playlist, guided meditations and healing. So you might want to go watch those. Um, but this is also a time of, you know, when you're stepping into your power, that anything that doesn't resonate with your vibration of love or the frequency in which you're vibrating at now, anything in the line must go. Okay, so this is people, places, things, thought patterns. Um, it could be switching and moving from one career to another career or what have you. But there's definitely some changes right now that are happening that are making you maybe even forcefully uh, making you adjust to have to move in, in the direction of your life calling. However, um, some of you may even be questioning a lot of things right now. I feel like this is more for those who are newly awakened and going through this initiation period of stepping into your power, finding out what your calling is and things of that sort, having these fears, doubts, and insecurities at the same time, awakening of all of these like spiritual aspects, psychic type gifts and talents that are awakening that are really bringing on these experiences of magic, awakening, holy shit, what the hell is going on? I never in my life would imagine these type of things would happen. When I first went out of body, had um experiences with that it threw me for a loop i had always believed there was much more to the universe and much more to magic than what we were ever taught and i always hoped that i'd tap into it and so when i did it threw me for a loop but however i was like i really love this i've got to continue to do what i got to do so I continued to meditate. I continued to connect with crystals and things of that sort. And the veil would keep lifting. And I'd keep questioning, having these new questions. Well, what do I do now? Or uh, what do I bring into my meditation? And they would add things like hand gestures and uh, chanting certain things or, or connecting with crystals. I mean, whatever it was to help me to step into my personal power. That's what I was doing. And that's what they were guiding me to do. So it's up to you to pay attention to what you're being guided to do. So this veil can be lifted even more. And I feel like for many of you, there's layers of a veil. It's not just one veil that's going to be lifted off. It's layers of things. You know, maybe as you heal your heart chakra, you'll feel many layers of things coming off. And you'll start questioning more about, well, how do I step more into my personal power and confidence and courage and things of that sort. And you'll be led by spirit to do things with your uh, solar plexus chakra and maybe even your sacral chakra. So... You know, go where you're being led at this time. Embrace the flow of life. Embrace the flow of what your chi energy is doing for you at this time. Whether it be awakening something, healing something, helping you to release and let go of something. Just helping you to become aware of something. Whatever it may be, just go with the flow of it. Which cards do I go to now? Thank you. Not these. Okay. What other messages do you have for us, please? For all those who are awakened, going through an ascension journey down here thank you so some of you are feeling as if everything's lost that you may have been passed up for some time um for your calling that maybe um because of i don't know why i'm feeling this but because of some financial issues that some of you are having you feel like you're never going to get out of this rut feeling as if money is the only thing that's going to get you out of this feeling of uh, being stuck in illusions and doubts. And what I'm feeling here is that this is just a process that you're meant to go through. Um, processing through the ego to get to the light. So processing the dark thoughts, the dark insecurities, fears and doubts, and processing through into this energy of hope, optimism, patience, faith, trust, going with the flow, even though we don't understand why we're having to go with the flow the way that it is. It's feeling like it's not flowing. However, you know, those downtimes have a purpose, guys. So um, on the flip side of this card is knowing that you have the upper hand. You know, this faith, this trust, this, this feeling of, okay, I'm out of, I'm pushing through. I'm not out of, I'm pushing through these fears, doubts, and insecurities and into this energy of, again, I've got this. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to commit. I'm going to put my time and energy into all of those basics that I was taught in the beginning, prayer, meditation, intention, connection with nature, writing I am affirmations, anything that's going to build up my confidence and courage and things of that sort. But knowing that not as all lost, things are going to keep coming as they should. However, it's about you getting out of the ego and into those emotions that are telling you things are going to be okay.
there could be some frustrations um, that have to do with people, connections with other people. Maybe you're feeling as if um, as you're going through these changes and transformations that you don't have anybody to talk to or when you do talk to people that they're not really uh, very, um, uh, what am I trying to say? They, they don't really want to hear what you have to say, or maybe they're judging what it is that you have to say, but I, I'm feeling like there's battles that are coming, some sort of frustrations, arguments that are coming due to you feeling as if you can't express yourself in the way that you want to express yourself, feeling a little bit held back. And it might not just be that somebody's judging you or what have you, you may feel held back from expressing yourself just because of years of being taught that you shouldn't do so or that what you're tapping into this magic that you're tapping into is the devil or it's Satan or it's what have you guys. That's a lie. Okay. That is a lie. So the feeling of being bound up frustrated is also coming out. This is the five of wands and the eight of swords that we got back to back with frustrations, feeling like something isn't moving forward. However, Again, the ego is trying to protect you at this time. So we are stepping in to an energy of being more like, um, okay, they're saying we're coming into a more easy flowing, gentle type energy and energy of, um, they're showing me the king and I don't know why they're showing me the king of, um, Pentacles, but I'm seeing it. This is the King of Cups, but I'm seeing the P King of Pentacles. So I feel like a lot of the emotions are um, helping us to move in the right direction. And I'm feeling like this is more of like the positive emotions because we're working through those negative emotions that comes with the fears, doubts, and insecurities. So um, on the, you know, the flip side of this is things are uh, starting to even out, become a little bit easier with the emotions okay i'm trying to get out what i'm trying to say and it's not coming very well which cards i go to thank you i better grab these before i forget to share them again i forgot to share them in the last video that is the reason for why the video is named um titled with the affirmations because i forgot to share them after i picked them on the video with you guys so hopefully i don't forget them today having them sitting right here next to me Panda is about making a sacred space within your home, your work, maybe even outside of your home. This is a place where you go pray, meditate, set intentions, work with your crystals, do things like healing um, rituals and things of that sort. This is also uh, a card. Uh, Gorilla is a card reminding us to be compassionate with those around us. You know, we are going through a major awakening. They are too. They probably just aren't aware of it. So just try to remember it, where you came from. If you're somebody that's been on this journey for a while, or if you're not somebody that's been on this journey for a while, just try to understand that they will have their time of awakening too. So eventually they will understand and, and come to believe and trust in what you're saying or what you're going through or what have you. So I was told to get one more card here. I'll get a blessing card and let you guys go. Okay. Chimpanzee came out along with the weasel. So the chimpanzee is a card of intellect, knowledge, wisdom. It's also a card of developing um, connection with your intuition. So this may be something that is awakening for some of you, something that you're starting to develop. And then the weasel is talking about paying attention, paying attention to what your ego is telling you, uh, fighting off those uh, fears, doubts, and insecurities. But this is also about paying attention to the signs and synchronistic events that are happening that are guiding you towards a totally different path, a totally different life for some of you. I'm feeling like this is those of you who are newly awakened, but this is also directing you towards your heart desi heart's desires, okay? So get more into your feelings, your emotions, that energetic uh, response that happens uh, instead of the fears, doubts, insecurities, ego. Today's I am affirmations. I am wisdom. I am complete. I am whole. So we have two cards that are saying that things are coming together, going to fit more uh, in alignment, things of that sort. I hope that everybody got something out of this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow if you don't already. Thank you to anybody who does so. Again, if you're interested in a full reading giveaway, please like this video as well as putting your name or an affirmation down in the comments as a way of being put on the list. Thank you to anybody who is participating in that. If you're somebody that is wanting to get either free or 
paid readings. I do so on a Facebook group called Healings, Readings, Empowerment, and More with Trish Poe. This is a Facebook group that you have to um, subscribe or ask to be a member to be able to see the comments, to be able to participate. So make sure that you're asking to be a member to do so. I will be going live at some point today and tomorrow morning. So um, please look for me during that time. Again, you have to be a member to be able to participate. 2002, guys. Look that up on Sacred Scribes. I hope everybody has a very safe and blessed weekend. Much love to you guys. Bye.